here. So you have someone come share an idea that the earlier came up with for their community issue. Uh, how many volunteers are also are calling on people? one volunteer from a group to come kind of share what their community issue was and what solution they came up for that issue. A volunteer? Anyone? All right.
substance um, abuse problems and they've broken the rules enough that they are not allowed to stay in those shelters any longer. Well, they still need a place to warm up in the winter. So there is a group in Salina um, that consists of those two shelters and also a church that is now opening their doors to those folks that have nowhere else to go from like March or from November to March where they can come and at least get warmed up at night. So that is one way that some agencies have seen a need in Salina and they're addressing that. Okay, one more group. There's one group, sure, wants to talk about how they are addressing risky behavior with their community youth. Anybody? All right, which, which groups have that community issue? Raise your hands high. Okay, how about the other? Thank you. Page of the paper. 
I know Lori was there, participated. And some of the, some of the things that people said about Sledding Sling County is that we need more civic engagement. We need to be able to transport goods better via railroad or trucks. Um, we have child care issues, like we mentioned, and we have a lack of diversity. So I'm not sure what issues will be tackled. Um, these ideas that are brought up, but it should be interesting. But we, as a foundation, will be part of funding some of those projects. Um, we also want to try to grant um, to larger projects that might span over, um, over a period of time. So for example, if we could give out 10, $5,000 grants to 10 different agencies, but what if we gave two or three agencies working together $50,000? What could they do with that? Could that make a bigger impact? Um, so the way we are doing this is that we are funding two um, multi-year projects, and um, one of them is approving North Salina, and one of them is um, dealing with or um, supporting a local artist initiative, which is what Lori is going to talk about. And between these two projects, there's a total of 39 collaborating partners in town. I mentioned that we have 13 regional affiliate foundations. You know, some of those foundations, um, they all have the same problems. Um, for example, there's a lack of housing in some of these areas. Well, it's going to be hard to, if I want to build a new house, and I live out in rural America, where it takes maybe a home builder 60 minutes to drive every day to build my house, what if we would get a couple counties together and say, hey, you know what, contractor, if you come out and build, um, we, we will promise you 10 houses in this county. That's probably a little bit more incentive to get someone out there to get some, some more housing built. So to help with that, we are beginning to build relationships at the, at the foundation um, with economic development people in our service area. And lastly, we um, again we just work with our local charities to help them reach out to their donors so that they can build their endowments. I know sometimes um, directors of charities are like, I don't like to ask for money, but, but we can help them do that. We can help them do that through our match madness, which is our annual event. Any questions? If not, I will just leave you with a quote that we have on the wall in our office. True meaning of life is to plant trees under whose shade you do not expect to sit. That means what you do now. You may not see the benefits of, but it's going to benefit someone someday, and that really is what life should be about. So thank you for your time. I want to now turn it over to Lori.